Florida has a lot of nicknames, but there's probably one that might surprise you. The kidney stone belt. That's because when temperatures rise, so does the risk of developing a kidney stone. But what exactly are these painful things and how can we prevent them based on what we eat and drink? Well, joining me now is Dr. Ivan Porter, who is the head of the kidney stone clinic at Mayo Clinic. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thanks for having me. First, can you just tell us what is a kidney stone and how does it develop? You, one of the jobs of your kidney is to filter minerals, uh, amongst many other things, out of the blood and put it into the urine to get rid of it. And in some people um, and in some situations, that filtering of those minerals can uh, lead to this calcification, these crystals, and those can get lodged in the urinary tract, can be very painful, can be associated with infections. Um, sometimes people pass them on their own and sometimes they need a little help to get rid of them. And can you talk a little bit about why with rising temperatures that the risk of kidney stones increase during the summertime? Absolutely. You talked a little bit about the stone belt here in the southeast. Temperatures rise higher. Behaviors don't necessarily change. We drink the same amount, but we sweat a lot more. There are a lot of insensible losses of water. We don't notice that we're losing it through our skin. And it puts a lot of people at risk for kidney stones. We also change our diet a little bit in the summer times. We tend to drink um, a little bit more soda. We uh, are doing a lot of summertime barbecues and uh, saltier foods and uh, sugar sweetened beverages. All of those things can increase someone's risk for kidney stones. And who is at greater risk, men or women, or is there a certain age group? A little bit more common in men than women, but overall about 10 to 12% of people uh, can expect to, have to be inflicted with a problem of kidney stones. Um, there are some certain medical conditions that are also associated with stones like diabetes, some autoimmune diseases. Uh, sometimes if people have abnormal anatomy or they're born with uh, uh, abnormal plumbing, if you will, or the urinary tract doesn't go into the bladder the same exact way, all those people might have risks of stones as well. And what are some st some symptoms or some warning signs that that might happen? One of the most common things people experience is pain. Um, some stones are just found incidentally. You have some image for some other reason and people see stones. But more commonly, we're dealing with people that have this sudden onset of abdominal pain or groin pain, sometimes nausea or vomiting, sometimes blood in the urine. All of those can be it's repeated infections over and over again, urinary tract infections. All of those are things that um, can be a clue that you might be dealing with a kidney stone. And why do they cause so much pain? The, ur the urinary tract is very small. Um, so it's not meant for these, these three millimeter, four millimeter and higher uh, rocks to be traveling through them. So as they move through this very, very tiny tube, the muscles that are trying to contract to get it out, um, they send the stimulus of terrible pain. And what kind of treatment is out there for someone who develops a kidney stone? It depends on the type of stone. Um, everyone is told to increase their fluid intake, but sometimes if the stone's too large, surgery is our only option. We've either got to go up the urinary tract and grab the stone and get it out with our friends in urology, or we've got to make a cut on the outside and go into the kidney and, and take the stone out. Um, there are also some medications that we can use that can relax the urinary tract. And then there's also sometimes medications we can use that can change the chemistry in the urine that might make some types of stones dissolve or at least make them less likely to form in the first place. All right. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Porter, for joining us this morning. Thanks for having me.